Nebraska CDL practice test. Question 1. What is a common cause of tire fires? Overinflated tires. Cold tires. Underinflated tires. All of the above. Answer. Underinflated tires. Question 2. If you double your speed, how much more distance will it take to stop? Four times as much. Twice as much. Three times as much. Five times as much. Answer. Four times as much. Question 3. Which of the following is the key steering component? Gearbox. Torque rod. Bearing plate. Leaf spring. Answer. Gearbox. Question 4. How many hours of sleep does the average person need per night, or risk accumulating sleep debt? 8 to 9 hours. 6 to 7 hours. 7 to 8 hours. 6 to 8 hours. Answer. 7 to 8 hours. Question 5. What is not one of the four skill areas that operating a commercial vehicle requires? First aid certification. Steering. Safely backing. Accelerating. Answer. First aid certification. Question 6. What might happen if you swing wide to the left before you turn right? Someone might try to pass you on your left. You might damage your leaf springs. Someone might try to pass you on your right. All of the above. Answer. Someone might try to pass you on your right. Question 7. Which of the following can you not use a BC fire extinguisher on? Wood. Electrical fire. Grease fire. Gasoline fire. Answer. Wood. Question 8. The minimum tire tread depth for front tires is 3 eighths inch depth, 1 thirty second inch depth, 4 thirty seconds inch depth, 1 half inch depth. Answer 4 thirty seconds inch depth. Question 9. Which of these is not part of the basic method for shifting up? Accelerate while pressing the clutch and turning toward the driver's side. Release the clutch. Release the clutch and press the accelerator at the same time. Push in the clutch and shift into higher gear at the same time. Answer. Accelerate while pressing the clutch and turning toward the driver's side. Question 10. To help you stay alert and safe while driving, you should Have a whiskey to brace yourself. Roll down your windows to get fresh air. Drink coffee if you get drowsy. Avoid medications with warning labels. Answer. Avoid medications with warning labels. 
Question 11, which of these are you not responsible for it when it comes to your cargo? Recognizing possible overloads. Making sure that cargo is properly secured. Inspecting the cargo. Ensuring the freshness of sealed cargo. Answer. Ensuring the freshness of sealed cargo. Question 12. On what roads, you should reduce your speed by? 60%. One quarter. One half. One third. Answer. One third. Question 13. How often must you stop to check your cargo while on the road? After each break you take while you're driving. Every 3 hours or 150 miles. Within the first 50 miles. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 14. You don't want to be a distracted driver, so you Smoke, eat, and drink during straight portions of the road. If possible, turn off your cell phone until you reach your destination. Only read maps or your phone when there are no cars around you. Have all your emotionally hard conversations in the first hour of driving. Answer. If possible, turn off your cell phone until you reach your destination. Question 15. How many seconds does it take for a normal tractor trailer to clear a double track? 14 seconds. More than 15 seconds. More than 30 seconds. 10 seconds. Answer. More than 15 seconds. Question 16. What is the best way to figure out how many seconds of following distance you have? Text a friend and tell them to text you back in 10 seconds and see how long that seemed to take compared to far you traveled. Get one fourth closer to the car in front of you. Then back off again. Multiply how long this took you by 4 for following distance. Wait until a vehicle passes a shadow or landmark, and count the seconds until you pass it. Use the stopwatch on your phone to try to determine how long before you reach a mile marker after the car in front of you appeared to reach it. Answer. Wait until a vehicle passes a shadow or landmark, and count the seconds until you pass it. Question 17. Total stopping distance is a combination of Reaction distance plus braking distance Reaction distance plus viewing distance plus braking distance Braking distance plus stopping distance Perception distance plus reaction distance plus breaking distance. Answer. Perception distance plus reaction distance plus breaking distance. Question 18. Why is it important to use a helper when backing? Because people feel more comfortable when you do. Because you are providing a job for someone else. Because you have blind spots. All of the above. Answer. Because you have blind spots. Question 19. Which of the following should you do when confronted by an aggressive driver? If you can safely do it. 
Call the police from a cell phone. Avoid eye contact. Ignore rude gestures and refuse to react negatively. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 20. What happens when you let the air out of hot tires? This is a good idea so the extra pressure is relieved. This is a bad idea because when the tires cool off, the pressure will be too low. It will cool them down. You will be able to continue your journey sooner. It has no effect at all. Answer This is a bad idea because when the tires cool off, the pressure will be too low. Question 21. Which of the following determines the safe speed for going down a steep downgrade? The road conditions. The total weight of the vehicle and cargo. The steepness of the grade. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 22. You should place the starter switch key into your pocket while you are performing the pre-trip inspection because It could damage the starting mechanism. Someone could steal the truck. Someone could start and move the truck. All of the above. Answer. Someone could start and move the truck. Question 23. You should inspect wheel bearing seals for Tears Leaking Twisted axles Broken leaf springs Answer Leaking Question 24. What is the gross vehicle weight, GVW? The total weight of a single vehicle and its load. The total weight that includes the vehicle, towed vehicles, and the load. A vehicle's maximum weight rating, specific by its manufacturer. All of the above. Answer. The total weight of a single vehicle and its load. Question 25. How can you start moving without rolling backward? Put on the parking brake whenever necessary. Engage the clutch before removing your foot from the brake. Apply the hand valve. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 26. Starting the engine and inspecting the cab involves each of these tasks, except Checking the transmission controls Checking the air pressure gauge Starting the engine, then putting the gear shift in neutral Starting the engine, then listening for unusual noises Answer Starting the engine, then putting the gear shift in neutral. Question 27. It has just reached freezing. Which of the following areas is slippery? A shaded area. A bridge. When looking road. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 28. During your pre-trip test, when examining hoses with the instructor, you need to look for The location of the dipstick Low windshield washer fluid level 
Puddles on the ground. Phrase in the water pump belt. Answer. Puddles on the ground. Question 29. Is it true that as long as the engine is not overheated, it is completely safe to remove the radiator cap? Yes, as long as there is no overflow. No. Yes. Yes, as long as the radiator isn't damaged. Answer. No. Question 30. Truck drivers are in an ideal position to see and report human trafficking that can often occur at truck stops as rest areas. Which of the following trafficking red flags should you look for? An individual who does not know where they are, or about the community around them. An individual who seems tense, afraid, or otherwise nervous. An individual not in control of their own travel documents, such as a passport or driver's license. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 31. Which two special conditions indicate that you should downshift? Starting up a hill and finishing a curve. Starting down a hill and entering a curve. Starting down a hill and finishing a curve. Starting up a hill and entering a curve. Answer. Starting down a hill and entering a curve. Question 32. Before transporting a sealed load, you must check that you don't exceed gross weight and axle weight limits. A picture of whatever is inside. A small sample of whatever is inside. All of the above. Answer. That you don't exceed gross weight and axle weight limits. Question 33. Retarders keep you from skidding on the road because They help reduce your reaction distance. They give you more control over your brakes. They don't, you skid more easily with retarders. They help you control your speed. Answer. They don't, you skid more easily with retarders. Question 34. Do empty trucks have the best braking? Yes. Yes, but only on wet surfaces. No. Yes, but only if the truck is newer than 1998. Answer. No. Question 35. How can you determine if your vehicle is equipped with ABS? Check for yellow ABS malfunction lamps on the instrument panel. Check if your vehicle was manufactured after March 1, 1998, they are required to have the panel light. Look for wheel speed sensor wires that are coming from the rear of your brakes. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 36. Always try to back toward the driver's side because Your truck will naturally pull toward the driver's side. It's more comfortable for turning your neck. You can see better, watching the vehicle rear out the side window. All of the above. Answer. You can see better. Watching the vehicle rear out the side window.
Question 37, an anti-lock braking system will Shorten your stopping distance Increase a vehicle's ultimate stopping power Let you drive faster Keep your brakes from locking up when you brake hard Answer Keep your brakes from locking up when you brake hard Question 38 which of the following is not something you should check during a trip? Cargo and cargo covers Mirrors Tires Text messages Answer Text messages Question 39 how long will you lose your CDL driving privileges if you are convicted of a second DUI offense in either a CMV or your private vehicle? 5 years minimum 10 years minimum Life 1 year minimum Answer Life Question 40. Why should you cover cargo? To protect individuals from any spilled cargo. To protect your cargo from bad weather. Because many states require it. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 41. What's the definition of a hazard? Something you can easily avoid. Something you can safely ignore. A road user or road condition that could be a possible danger. Something you must stop for. Answer. A road user or road condition that could be a possible danger. Question 42. While driving at night, which beams should you use as often as you can? Emergency flashers. High beams. Low beams. Novelty lights. Answer. High beams. Question 43. What constitutes a hazardous materials placard? Signs on the outside of the vehicle that identify the hazard class of cargo. Signs that warn the public to stay at least 1,000 feet away from the vehicle. Signs that help tax collectors determine how much to tax a hazardous cargo. Signs on the inside of the vehicle that remind the driver what he is carrying. Answer Signs on the outside of the vehicle that identify the hazard class of cargo. Question 44. Where should you place your warning devices, if you must stop on a one-way or a divided highway? 50 feet, 100 feet, and 150 feet toward approaching traffic. 100 feet 200 feet, and 300 feet toward approaching traffic. 20 feet, 50 feet, and 100 feet toward approaching traffic. 10 feet, 100 feet, and 200 feet toward approaching traffic. Answer 10 feet, 100 feet, and 200 feet toward approaching traffic. Question 45. How many tie-downs are required for a 20-foot load? Three tie-downs. One tie-down. Four tie-downs. Two tie-downs. Answer. Two tie-downs.
Question 46. What can you do at an accident site to help avoid another accident? Put out warning devices so people don't run into the accident site. Have a drink to calm your nerves. Leave your vehicle, do nothing, and get to higher ground. Stay in your vehicle and do nothing until help arrives. Answer Put out warning devices so people don't run into the accident site. Question 47 The most important hand signal you should agree on with a helper is Faster Stop Go Turn up the music Answer Stop Question 48 if you are traveling at 55 miles per hour in a 30-foot vehicle, you should leave how many seconds of following distance? 3 seconds 7 seconds 4 seconds 6 seconds Answer 4 seconds Question 49. What will help a drunk sober up? A glass of water. Fresh air. Coffee. Time. Answer. Time. Question 50. Which of the following should you not do if you experience a tire failure? Be aware that a tire has failed. Stay off the brake pedal. Hold the steering wheel firmly. Engage the brakes hard and immediately. Answer Engage the brakes hard and immediately. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.